up and running, and there it is, Spreaker in the house. The church is excited to be here today, my friends. It is Wednesday, our midweek Bible study, just a little bit early. Instead of uh, instead of eight, I decided to go ahead and move it back to about five. Well, originally three thirty or three, and then up to. 4.30 or something like that, and oh, mercy. All right, friends, so I better go ahead and get our friends over at our Anchor channel because I do want to get that rolling. Let me check a couple of uh, a couple of messages that just came in uh, on our channel here, so bear with me for just a minute, friends. Uh, amen. So, yeah, let's get our Anchor channel uh, rolling today. I think we're okay on the, oh, what do we got? Uh, we got our fan and stuff. Uh, let's see. And we still got the flies. Didn't get that uh, taken care of. Uh, waiting on some fly strips here. So we're just doing the audio broadcast for today. Spreaker.com. Good to see you guys. And, of course, our friends at Blog Talk Radio. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going to pull up our anchor channel. So give me a minute. There it is, Anchor Cast Box. You guys are on the air. Pastor Rick here, Studio A, uh, Wednesday, September 22nd. How are you all doing? All right, so let me double check. Uh, we go ahead and double check our channels here. We are on the air live as I speak <laughs> right now. My precious brothers and sisters, we are having some church for uh, Wednesday, midweek. Um, again, just about, oh, what do we got? Just about, um, a little after 5 o'clock here. So I am pulling it up on the monitors for our channel. So let's see what's going on with the monitors there, live on the air here, friends. Pastor Rick hanging out, like I said. Good to see you guys, as always. Uh, now, before we pray it in, you know, I got to double check just a couple of things. And uh, as we do the audio broadcast today, still bombarded with the flies. Uh, that has not uh, ceased yet. Um, <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping the uh, delivery would come in with the fly strips, but that's not the case. So, I'm um, just doing some audio for now. Um, just uh, maybe another couple of days here. And then, like I said, tomorrow I have the um, the update. Or not the update, but uh, what do you call it? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting with Verbal.com. I'm excited about that. Ambassador. Uh, for verbal, so that's going to be awesome. I uh, can't give away the details, but uh, you guys can go ahead and check out that verbal.com channel. And uh, oh, there it is. All right, so I, if friends, real quick here, just a brief kind of interim <laughs> inter, intermission, what do you call it? Uh, anyway, if you go to page five on Block Talk Radio's main channel for live episodes, live shows, uh, I am on the uh, fifth page, so there it is. Amen. And we're going to go ahead and check our our monitors. Amen. All right. Make sure I got that volume down. Don't want to get too loud there. All right. Um, <laughs> give me a minute, my friends. Posting this out on our on our channel there. So. Um, Right, there it is, on our Twitter. So you guys can check that podcast out on Twitter.com right now, friends. Right, there it is. Okay, we are there. All right, well, you know how i got to do these little intermission uh, kind of things here. Double checking uh, the channels here. Uh, amen. All right, well, let's go ahead and double check our volume level there we're gonna go ahead and pray it in friends so give me a minute all right sounds great 
So that is awesome. That is really, really good. And then, uh, like I said, I'll post these out on Twitter. Uh, well, uh, the Spreaker uh, setup, I'll, I'll get that posted out. Um, amen. All right, so let me move on over there. See what we got going on. And, uh, of course, as I post this out to our Facebook family, see if I can do that. Amen. All right, give me a minute. And uh, I'll be posting this out on our Facebook page, RuckleWarnerFacebook.com, for Wednesday. Uh, all right, well, we'll get to that in just a moment. All right, there we go. So it is rolling, and it does sound uh, sound amazing. So uh, thanks for the upgrades. All right. Okay, give me a minute, and then we're going to go ahead and pray it in. All right. And, of course, my... My... Uh, Spelling check needs a spelling checker. Something like that. I don't know. All right. Oh, give me a minute. And let's see. We got Blog Talk Radio on there, of course. All right. Okay, friends, so bear with me. Just getting a couple of these little posts out uh, before, um, it, you know, before, I don't know what before. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it, my friends. Man, oh, man, have I got a lot to cover for you that they, uh, today, actually, and that's why I wanted to uh, get on here again. So let's get going. Let's uh, pray it in. And get that church back up on its feet with that thunder, of course. Uh, amen. Amen. All right. So, let's get rolling, friends. Amen. Heavenly Father, oh, I come before you again as I always do. Grateful, humbled, and honored uh, to preach this word, to share this message as I... Uh, as I am doing, you have, uh, as you've given me this honor and this privilege to uh, keep putting this message out. It's just amazing. And I do appreciate that, uh, Father God. It is always a blessing to get this word out. I do appreciate that. So, Father God, as I uh, pray over um, my family and friends, uh, I want to lift them up and encourage their hearts. And, um, you know, just uh, keep them going, keep them moving. It's just such a blessing um, that, uh, you know, that you're watching over them. Uh, so I want to just encourage them and give them hope and strength and, and uh, uh, encouragement again, Father God. So I ask you to watch over them and, and family, friends, and all that uh, again. So thank you for that. And uh, over the Wi-Fi, the Connection the Studio again. So it's just amazing what you do. Father God, and continue to do. It's a blessing. And this is all for you. That's not for me. I'm always grateful for what you have provided, continue to provide, and, um, you know, the increase. It's just amazing. So, Father God, thank you so much. Father God, it is amazing. And I, again, do appreciate that. So, as I, uh, as I read the scriptures and uh, share the word today, Father God, um, just... Put your holy blessings on the uh, on the podcast and and the words that I uh, teach today. So, Father God, I thank you in Jesus' name. I pray, Amen and Amen. All right, well, friends, give me just a quick minute, um, Amen, friends. Hold on to that thought. Um, I forgot to put my sign out on the door. And, well, that's not good. So, I'm going to have to take a very brief, very brief uh, minute here, friends, to, uh, to uh, oh, to get, <laughs> to, 
<laughs> as I was getting excited, I got in here, jumped online, forgot to put the uh, sign out on the door, and I have to do that. Otherwise, I get massive interruptions uh, front. So bear with me for about three to four minutes here uh, as I throw up the sign on the door for no interruptions. Um, it is, uh, you know, like I said, I get so excited and forgot to put the sign up so bear with me for a minute my friends take a pause get your coffee get your bibles together and uh, i'll be right back my brothers and sisters for wednesday the 22nd uh afternoon or evening early evening here bible study podcast friends bear with me and i'll be right back All right, there it is. Mercy. You know, I get so excited, friends. I uh, forget <laughs> to get these, uh, get everything taken care of here. So I am by myself. Uh, still working on getting some help in the studio here to help with all that. All right. Well, let's see. Um... We are going to have to restart. Um, amen. All right. Give me a minute. And all right. So let's get back to our channels. And there it is, Anchorcast Box. Pastor Rick here. I had to pause for just a brief minute because I forgot to put the sign up on our door. Which, if I don't, believe it or not, friends, if I don't, uh, I get interrupted. Um, it just happens. You know, my doors are shut, the lights are on, the, the, the red light for live on air is on, and I still get interrupted. Unbelievable, right? All right. Well, we did pray it in as I'm chasing flies still. Uh, so let's just go ahead, friends. We're going to go right on into our studies, uh, our opening scripture today, friends. We're going to go ahead and take a look uh, here. Uh, again, Pastor Rick here, Studio A, September 22nd, Wednesday evening here, just a little after 520. Uh, just try to get on here a little bit, you know, at least with the audio. And like I said... Having problems with the flies, um, did not get the fly strips like I was told, and so that kind of put things off on the live video part of the broadcast, because it's uh, pretty tough to, uh, you know, contend with the flies. So, and I didn't want you guys to, you know, sit through a whole podcast of me, uh, again, like I said yesterday, of me battling the flies the entire broadcast. That's not uh, fair to you guys. And so I didn't want to do that. So um, that way, you know, I can still I can still battle them uh, here with the fly swatter and all that. Hey Amen. Let me adjust my uh, fan here because it is, even though it's uh, you know it's cool, uh, we're still getting 80 degree weather up here. So pretty amazing. Anyway, I lost. <laughs> I lost track of what I was talking about, friends. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the uh, the supplies, fly supplies, or what do we call them, uh, the fly strips did not come in like uh, we were promised. Uh, and so um, I'm going to have to do these audio broadcasts for, oh, just for a while here. Uh, so I'm rescheduling my YouTube channel uh, with a live broadcast and also at the Restream uh, TV ministry network because like i said friends it is tough to try to uh try to broadcast live video uh, and get bombarded with the uh with the flies again and i've had just days and days of that so uh pretty you know pretty tough to do so this way i can still kind of battle them uh, and you guys don't have to put up with that <laughs> so 
Again, you guys know how transparent I am with you here. And always have been, always will. So I appreciate that. So let's get into uh, our first scripture here. Uh, again, got a lot to cover for you, friends. Amen. So I'm just taking a couple of notes. So make sure you got your Bibles out with you, friends. Your uh, cup of coffee, your big book of love, of course. You know, well, the Bible, of course. That's the first thing we need. Uh, and then um, your notes, your notebook tablets, your pens, your papers, all that good stuff, friends. You got to make sure you got all that stuff with you. So, um, amen. So I'm just taking a couple of extra quick notes here. Oh, man. We're going to go into Galatians, friends, right there. Galatians chapter 5. Let me grab my cup of coffee. Hope you guys can uh, hear me all right. Amen. All right. Now we're going to get into some uh, NLT recap series messages again as i always like to do and i would like to share that with you friends uh for sure all right let me check the volume level again i think we're okay all right there it is well that's always a good sign uh all right friends so let's get going pastor rick here again five uh, a little after five uh p.m pacific standard time here on uh, the Blog Talk Radio and Spreaker Network. Here we have our friends at Anchor Castbox. So let's get to some scriptures here, my brothers and sisters, and let's get some church today uh, if we can. Friends, we're going to go into Galatians 5 right now for our opening scripture. Uh, amen. Uh, so let's go ahead and read that together. Amen. We might do six, too. Um, just something in the Spirit hit me with that. And, uh, well, we might uh, we might go ahead and take a look at that, uh, both of them together here. Amen and amen, church. All right. Again, like and subscribe if you can, friends, to help out over at the YouTube channel. Um, that is always grateful. Uh, or I am grateful for that. And... Always appreciative of your support on these channels, um, friends. So, and I know, like I said, friends, I haven't been on a, a live video for a, a little bit here, and that is because of the bombardment of the flies. And, uh, you know, you just got to roll with it and keep going, right? Amen. And where there is a will or where there's a way, God makes a way, right? Got to put God first, friends. All right, friends. Well, let's go ahead and just go right into our scriptures. And then I'll get into our opening scriptures, of course. Amen and amen. All right. Galatians 5, friends. Let's go ahead and read that together. Now stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled again with a yoke of bondage. And behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if uh, ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. All right? And we, we've gone over this before uh, as well. Amen. Bear with me again with the, with the corrections and with the notes. Not too much. We're going to get right straight into it. All right, and yeah, there we go. So, verse 2, chapter 5 in the book of Galatians, church here. Uh, Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if ye be circumcised again, uh, Christ shall profit you nothing. Now, for I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to the law. Or to the whole law, right? Or to do the whole law. There it is. Now, Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever, if you or of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision 
but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Now this persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you uh, shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then in the offense of the cross ceased, or is the offense of the cross ceased? I would they were even cut off that are which trouble you. All right, there it is. All right, trying to fix this uh, notes here. So, for brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion. Uh, to the flesh, but by love serve one another, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour, uh, <laughs> hang on here, friends, hold on, I got a message just coming up on my phone. I did think, I thought I had it shut down. Amen. All right. Okay, so there it is. Double checking everything. All right. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, amen. So again, uh, let's see. Let's go to 16 here, friends. Um, as we just talked about 15, actually. <coughs> amen. Excuse me, friends. But in verse 15, but if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedations, and heresies. Or heresies, right? Heresies? All right, envious murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But, as we know, friends, in verse 22, uh, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Right, And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Now, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another and envying one another. All right, let's go, go ahead and just jump right into 6 here. Uh, friends, Galatians chapter 6, church. Let's go ahead and read that. Now, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Right. Now, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think of uh, think himself to be some thing, when he is nothing, 
he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden, and let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. And be ne or be be not deceived, church. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah, right, there you go. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of this flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall um, of the Spirit reap the everlasting, a uh, reap uh, life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season, friends, in due seasons, he says, right here in the uh, in verse nine, in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Be encouraged, friends. Be encouraged. All right. Now, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially, he says, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Again, I, that's the fivefold ministry there. All right. Let me take a couple quick notes here, friends, while you... Uh, grab your notebook, tablets, and, of course, your pens and papers. On this Wednesday, midweek, we're almost there, friends. We are almost there, uh, right in the middle of here. Hey, Amen. I want to definitely get back on here and get back on track. So let's keep going. Hey, Amen. All right, so verse 10. Now, let's see where we're at. Let's go back to verse 9. Just one more time, friends. Let's go ahead and recap that. In verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, and in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. All right, good uh, good scripture right there, friends, if we faint not. So we, that means we uh, got to keep, uh, you know, keep moving forward, keep digging in, keep pressing in. Uh, the Lord has a plan for us, and, and we got to uh, just stand on His Word, right? Uh, amen. All right. Just kind of getting a couple of notes taken care of there. Well, I see them. You know, if I get a chance to look at them and see them while I'm actually in the in the Scripture here. Okay. So let's keep going now in 10. As we have, therefore, opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially um, unto them who are of the household of faith. Right? Now ye see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand, as many as desire to make a fair shoe in the flesh. They constrain you to be circumcised, only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. But God forbid that I should glory, save in the, cry of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the word is, is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy. And upon the Israel of God... From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be uh, with you, or with your spirits. 
there it is friends so get a chance go ahead and check out galatians what a great set of uh, words that is all right give me just another quick minute here friends uh, as i have been going through uh, my bibles trying to readjust uh, some notes um amen it is a non-stop adventure, right? Amen. All right. Well, there we go. Amen and amen. Okay. There it is. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, what do we got on the menu? We got to, you know what we need to do, friends, brothers and sisters, church here. We need to go ahead and, and uh, go to our... Oh, where is it? we got to go through our uh, scripture notes there, friends. That's what we need to do. Amen. All right, hold on. Drop the bookmark. All right, that's okay. We don't need that one. Let's go ahead and, uh, friends, just go right straight into this message today. I, You know, we, we gave the devil enough slack time, right? So uh, let's just go ahead uh, and jump straight into our... Uh, scripture here uh, amen and uh, let's go to our notes friends so uh, go to your Bible Ephesians six ten through 20 let's go ahead and check that out you know we always go into our scripture notes here uh, on the podcast so let's go ahead and, and take a look at that together here friends again as I always like to share with you uh, every broadcast so let's go ahead and Jump into Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Put some armor on today, family. Amen. All right. Again, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. The armor of God in the King James here. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For well, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. As we segue right on into 1 Peter chapter 5, uh, 5, right? For your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now, that's why I don't want you to get got, my friends. I want you to Put that armor on. Amen. All right. There you go. Let's continue here. Because I'm just, again, just writing down some notes. All right. As I, as I usually do here. All right. So, let's look at 17, family. Now, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which I know is, you know, which we all know, and I know, but which we know is the Word of God, our Bibles, amen. Uh, praying, <laughs> just got, I just got attacked by a, a rogue fly hit me right in my glasses here. That's why I do the audio this time. All right, well, we'll get that fixed one of these days. All right, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we all know, again, is our Bibles, the Word of God. Amen. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And he says, all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance, friends, and supplication for all saints, right? All the saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, uh, that uh, therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. 
Because God don't give us the spirit of fear, brothers and sisters, but the, uh, what is it, the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, right? Ah, oh, mercy, there it is. All right. Mercy, I knew that early yawn was coming. I have been up all day long. I've been doing a lot of backup work here. Uh, getting the supplies to the roof. I'm trying to do a little bit of outside work on the yard again. <laughs> As I usually do, you know. Uh, it is a non-stop renovation, uh, renovation deal up here. So uh, it's always, uh, you know, it's always busy. Not, you know, no doubt about it. It's always busy. It's always hectic. Um, so, uh, that, but that's okay. You know, like I said, I'm not... Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity, friends. And then to get to spend time with you guys here. So, that's always a blessing. All right. Well, we're going to get right into our podcast scripture notes here again, friends. Uh, we're going to jump right into that. So, let's go right to our serenity prayer. Pull that up uh, on your devices or your notes. Hopefully, you have, a, you have it written down. That'd be great. Amen. All right, so hanging out in the studio, friends, almost 6 o'clock here on a bright and sunny afternoon or evening now. Uh, Pastor Rick, hanging out, Studio A, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast, uh, live on our Blog Talk radio channel, along with our Spreaker uh, channel, and uh, of course, Anchor and CastBox today, uh, friends. Just doing the audio podcast this evening uh, until I can get the fly bombardment straightened out, right? <laughs> Amen. I get that church. Because we know we got to stay away from this guy. All right? You guys on Spreaker, you're going to be able to hear those effects. Uh, the other channels doesn't pick them up, so um, that's an uh, unfortunate thing about uh, you know, unless you're actually on the Spreaker channel itself, you can't hear those facts. So, uh, so yeah, and I kind of switched over to channel one to go live instead of uh, uh, the tablet. Now I have those guitar effects and the uh, music that I'm putting out here. I have those effects on uh, the tablet version, but I have to transfer everything over to uh, the MacBook Pro uh, Channel 1 so you guys will be able to hear it. I guess you can't, uh, you know, you, unless you patch them through um, friends. So there you go. A little bit of background information there. Um, amazing. So, alright. Well, like I said, I just, you know, um, what was I talking about the music and stuff? You can't transfer unless, you know, or you do the files or something. So I'm working on that. So I got some new music coming up. Uh, friends that I'll have on all the um, Spreaker channel podcasts. So that was my point. That or point that was where I was going with this. <laughs> so uh, okay, divert it back to the back to the church here, <laughs> friends. Amen. All right. So let's get back to our serenity prayer. Uh, let's pull that up and uh, let's go ahead and read that together. Now, God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace and taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever, church, in the next. Brothers and sisters, amen and amen. All right, you know where we're going next. We've got to do that Lord's Prayer. Uh, friends, amen and amen, right? That Lord's Prayer. All right. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we 
forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, you all know where I'm going with this. You know that I uh, love to go uh, share this with you. Uh, so let me highlight it here. Of course, uh, amen, right? All right. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And we got to say amen on that one. And amen. All right. So let me highlight the highlighters, right? Or something like that. Let's go ahead and go through that real quick. Update that. And that way I get a chance to take care of that. Know that it's done. All right, don't forget to catch me live, friends, over at Instagram, Tin Can Pod, Bean, Tic Tac, Rizzle, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, of course, on all the major social media channels. And then, again, you guys can check out verbalpodcast.com. Just look it up, V-E-R, I believe, or V-U-R. Uh, where is that spelling? That's a V-U-R. Let me get that right. Uh, R-B-L-E. So it's V-U-R-B-L-E podcast. And uh, you guys can catch all the uh, all the podcasts there. So uh, they, I guess they got me as an ambassador up there. That's, that's such a blessing. It's so awesome. All right. Just going through my Instagram channel. You guys can uh, join me there if you will. That would be awesome for your continued massive support there on the channels. Amen. All right. Just checking out. See what's going on there. Amen. So, yeah, there it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. All right. Lots of stuff going on today, my friends. Let's uh, continue. You know, I like to share this with you, uh, friends. I want to read this with you, and we can go ahead and pull this up together here. Uh, if you make that, uh, take that step, make that move uh, in boldness and in faith. You trust Jesus Christ here, friends. Let's go ahead and read this together, and uh, then get a hold of me at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Yahoo.com, or the official uh, email for the ministry. Amen. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your Son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, right here, friends, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, church, we pray amen and amen oh let's get that church on his feet again amen speaker.com block out the radio anchor cast box all right again email me over at uh, our ministry uh email uh what is it the email address there official one uh worldwide live ministry podcast at uh, yahoo.com friends pastor rick i appreciate that in advance brought to you by the way by our friends over at uh, Eastside Pond, Eastside of Wenatchee State, uh, or Wenatchee, <laughs> Wenatchee, Washington State. There it is. Yeah, if you happen to get on over there, check it out. Go in there and say hi to Miss Debbie and her son. We always like to support our uh, our families, our uh, you know, and our local businesses, friends. Amen. There you go. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get to my notes. You know, by the way, friends, by our uh, friends uh, on the uh, list there, the shout-out list, you know, I always appreciate you guys very much. I always appreciate the massive support here. That is such a blessing um, as I'm getting through my notes here. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on here, friends. There it is. 
Um, kind of scrambled. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, the notes are really kind of a mess here. So bear with me. Again, let me go ahead and straighten that out. Okay. So, uh, you know, everybody, of course, and I always acknowledge you guys anyway. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel uh, or the, all the channels here. You know, everybody on Facebook, here, all the groups and church groups there, family, friends, uh, and all social platforms, social medias, uh, new subscribers, of course. Um, amen followers and visitors our precious visitors stopping by the ministry channel you guys are awesome it's such a blessing uh, Pastor Ryan over to Church God's Children uh, we did a podcast March 9th at 3.30 uh, Block Talk Radio exclusive uh, interview and uh, church service there that was a blessing what a great uh, opportunity to uh, share the word uh, so, thank you, Pastor Ryan. I appreciate that, and hopefully we can set this up for another time. That would be awesome. So, thank you again, Brother Mark, over at Facebook group page. Uh, the Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs. Brother Mark, thank you so much for your support over all these years. It's been uh, awesome. And, oh, I, I'm not, and I'm not even done yet. I'm just getting started, just getting warmed up here. Lots for you, lots of messages coming your way. Uh, amen, Miss Jackie. Boom, there it is over at Haps TV, Twitter, Periscope, Monday through Sunday, midnight. Uh, that midnight, uh, what is it, that midnight scope there, getting that word out. And Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries at Facebook, YouTube, Twitch TV, Instagram, and more. Uh, Warriors for Christ, friends. Amen. All right, no commercials here. Just in the word. Amen. That is for sure. All right. A couple little notes there. Okay. So let's grab. What do we got going on? We're going to go into. Uh, it looks like the book of John, friends. I've been in there for a minute. So let's go there. We're going to do the recap series here. Oh, uh, man. Uh, let me double check, find out where we're at on that one. Amen. All right. Trying to find a page, you know, uh, with all the notes and stuff scrambled here. All right, okay. Um, good enough. So, we've got, what do we got? Now, I did want to actually, oh, no, we're yeah, actually we're going to go into this right now, friends. I forgot. Um, I, I went back on my notes again, and I was looking at uh, subscriptions and stuff. Really good, good stuff in the NLT recap series, uh, friends. So we are going to look at 12. So uh, we may end up doing 12, 13, and 14 just because they are so good. So, we're going to look at 12 in the book of John, friends. Um, amen. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, amen, as I'm just scrambling for notes here. Um, all right, because I do want to make sure I include everything uh, here for you today. Um, amen. All right, give me a moment here, friends. Amen. All right. I know. I Boy, I tell you, I just got so much here for you, uh, friends. Now, again, if you guys are waiting on the NLT Recap Bible or, or you know, the, the NLT Living Water Bible, uh, be patient, friends. We should be getting them out. I was supposed to get some money in, and it didn't happen. Um, something happened. It tripped it up. So uh, bear with me on that. We'll get them out to you. Uh, friends, so just again be patient. Thank you guys in advance. It's coming, you're gonna get it. Uh, so bear with me on that. All right, so listen, take uh, put your notes in here, friends, or write your notes down, uh, for sure, because you're gonna want to take notes for this one. Uh, amen. Pray effectively in the book of Acts. Uh, Amen, and I did remember my water bottle, by the way, if you heard that in the background. 
so I can spray them down. I am not kidding. Uh, we're not going to deal with that. So, uh, anyway, so, yeah, I guess we're not going to be in John for a moment. Um, I'm going to be in the book of Acts. I forgot to do that. So, let me take care of business there. All right, so Acts chapter 12. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. All right, hang on here, friends. And there's our neighbors. <laughs> That's why I like to close the windows up a little bit cuz we do have some we do have some raucous neighbors around the neighborhood. Uh, amen. So let's continue with this, friends. You're going to love this one. Pray effectively in the book of Acts chapter 12 and we will uh, look that up here in a minute, but uh, I thought we were in John, and we're not. All right, 12. Okay, so bear with me. And there it is. All right. Okay, there we go. Acts, friends, we are in the book of Acts. So, pray effectively is... Uh, it is the subtopic that we're talking about on this one. Uh, so let's look at it here, friends. Again, Acts chapter 12, 1 through 17, and we'll probably go through all of it. Pray effectively. Now, this Bible story vividly illustrates how God works in response to the prayers of his people through Peter's, or though Peter's situation appeared hopeless, the body of believers did all that they could for him, and they called on God. And what made the prayers of these believers so effective, you ask? Now, the secret is found in Acts 12.5 on that one. There we see three basics, uh, or basic step steps these Christians took in response to what appeared to be a hopeless situation. Now, I know we've all, we've all had those uh, situations come up. Hey, Amen. Lots of, lots of activity going on outside, so bear with me on that noise. Amen. So, let me, <laughs> let me adjust this one. Uh, as believers, it says, so... Amen. All right. Good enough. Uh, for now, I will uh, try to bear through this one. Um, it's like, you know, when you're writing and uh, something or somebody comes by and he pushes your elbow and, and it makes you throw, you know, you throw off if you're doing lines, you know, like uh, writing lines and stuff or numbers and somebody comes by and, and pushes it. Well, that's what happens with this one. Uh, for some reason, I kind of went off the uh, off the deal here. So we're going to continue as believers. He says, "Okay." So, uh, so the their secret is found again over in Acts twelve, and that's going to be chapter five here, friends, uh, for that one. Now there we see the three basic steps these Christians took in response to what appeared to be a hopeless situation. And this is going to be uh, number one through three. Not much here, but boy, is it uh, really good here. So one, they directed their prayer to God. Now, ironically, many times our prayers often contain little thought of God himself. We will, uh, or we fill our mind with thoughts about our own needs instead of our Heavenly Father. Now, but Jesus Himself encouraged us to respectfully consider whom we are praying to. And, uh, or see, let's see, let's see what it says here now. Praying to when He gave us the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, 9, 13, of course. All right, now this will allow you to take your eyes off your dilemma and to place them on Jesus. 
and it will also help to align yours or your will of desire with his. So some good advice there. Amen. All right. And again, let me uh, let me fix my my real rough notes here. Mercy. All right. Okay, good enough. And number two, they prayed earnestly. Now, these believers offered constant, fervent prayer on Peter's behalf. Another way to translate this verse is they prayed with agony. It is the same phrase used to describe the way Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I've talked about that before in the past as well. Now, their prayers had, intensi uh, had intensity. And many of our prayers have no power because they have little or no heart in them. If we put so little heart into our prayers, we cannot expect God to put much more or much heart into answering them. See, now that when I went through this, it clicked, uh, and uh, boy, did that uh, boy did that trigger uh, a, a change of my prayers. All right, still working on them. Still, you know, still, still working on it. All right, number three, they prayed as a body. You know, there is power in united uh, prayer. Jesus said in Matthew chapter eighteen, verse nineteen, church. I also tell you this: if two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. What Jesus meant is that if two or more people, you share the same God-given <clears throat> God burden, are sure of God's will and are in agreement with the Spirit of God and one another as they pray, they will see dynamic results. And uh, let's conclude out here. Now, someone once uh, said, Jesus trembles when he sees the weakest saint upon his knees. Now, friends, if you are in a bleak situation today, consider how God worked through the prayers of these early Christians. Don't give up, as I've always told you. Don't give up. Be persistent. Keep on going. Don't give up. If you follow these principles, you will see results done God's way and, friends, in God's timing. And that is the key, uh, brothers and sisters, that is the key right there. Uh, everything is on God's time. I know we want it right now, right? We want results, instant results. But we got to remember, friends, we're on God's timing. And we have to be patient. And I know, like I said, friends, like I always tell you, I know that's not an easy thing to do. I'm telling you. Uh, but uh, we do... Uh, have to just uh, have trust and faith in God, right? Amen. All right, let me clean off my glasses here. Oh, what a lovely day. I don't know where you guys are at right now, but boy, oh boy, has it been nice uh, on our end of the state here. It has been really uh, great weather. We had uh, a little bit of rain, uh, not too much, which we all need the rain, you know, because of the fires across the states, but... Um, what a awesome, uh, awesome day. So, glory to God, right? Just glory to God. All right, friends, let's go ahead and go into the scripture. Uh, Acts chapter 12 on that one. And then I got a lot more for you. So, we're going to continue here. Let me check the volume again. All right. I think that's okay, volume wise. Okay, I never know if it's going to be too loud or too quiet. You know, I've had uh, a lot of different uh, reactions to it, um, friends, so I am not sure 
you know, I, I never know. Let's uh, throw in that church in there and Spreaker again. Amen. All right. So, you know, I have that. Uh, I have the volume all set at uh, one particular hour, you know, at time, the, the volume level all set at one spot, just because uh, I want to be as consistent as possible, um, and that always, uh, you know, it always helps and makes a big difference, so. All right, well, we're going to keep rolling here, got a lot more for you, so let's get to our scripture uh, Acts chapter 12, friends, as we are already at our hour. Uh, I think we got, uh, well, probably another hour. We may do another two hours. I don't know. It depends on how much I can keep talking, right? I know. You talk a lot. You talk too much about God. You're right. I do. Every chance I get to share the good news gospel. All right. So we're looking at... Uh, Ah, we're looking at chapter 12 in the book of Acts today. Amen. Let's go ahead and read that together, friends. This, uh, I'll give you a minute or two to get it. And, uh, well, when you get that uh, chapter, let me know. Give me a big amen for that one, church. All right. Uh, Acts chapter 12. Now, about that time, Herod... The king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions, right or quarter neons of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people all right all right and there it is again with those notes now Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing. Again, there is, if you're looking for that scripture, pray without ceasing right there. As he says in verse 5, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Amen. All right. Bear with me again on the notes. Um, <laughs> I knew it. You know, it's it's like extra work, extra homework for me. That's okay. I don't mind doing it. All right. So, pray without ceasing of the church unto God for him, right? Now, when Herod would have uh, brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and uh, the light was shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but though, or thought, he was a, or saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came uh, unto the iron gate, and leadeth unto the city which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passeth, or passed on one street. And forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself and said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of 
Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, right? Uh, were many were or where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. All right. And when she saw or she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gates. All right. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed them that it was even so. They are then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoning unto them with a hand to hold the peace, right, declared unto them how the Lord hath brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go shew these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Right? Amen. All right. Got a little bit of homework here, friends. I didn't, apparently, I didn't finish out the rest of the scripture. So uh, give me a minute here again. With the notes, you know, like I said, it's a constant update, uh, friends, always making sure um, i got things covered. All right. Well, not too much. Just a couple extra ones. 24 and 25, of course, I did not finish out. Uh, amen. So bear with me. All right. There it is. Amen, friends. Amen. All right. A little after 612 here on the dial. So... Good to be here on a Wednesday afternoon, getting you guys a, a little bit of church service today. Amen. On God's radio, friends, I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness, make straight the paths on the highway, right? Or something like that, <laughs> you know? Come on now, friends, you know I gotta preach. I gotta give this message out and share this word of God. All right, let's continue here, friends. Got a couple more verses left in Acts chapter 12. In 24, but the word of God grew and multiplied. Amen. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. All right, there you go, my friends. Good stuff. Always got a lot of scriptures for you. Amen, amen. Pray effectively is that one. That's a new one I just wanted to bring out because I, I did get that and go, you know, as I always go through my notes, double checking everything. It's always great. Okay, so now we're going to go over to John chapter 14. Uh, let me get to that, um, that scripture. I guess we're going to do 14 and 15. So we're going to stick to John for just a little bit. Uh, oh, amen. Amen, amen. Okay. So I want 14 and 15. Uh, if you guys want to meet me there, that would be great. We're going to kind of stick with John for just a, a second there or two. Um, amen. All right, so we're going to go into a recap series again, friends. You know, I always got so much for you. I do, I do, I do. Amen. John 14, and how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. We're going to go back to the recap series here again, friends. Amen. All right, how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. John 14 and, of course, John 15 uh, is the two books of John we're going to take a look at uh, today, friends. So let's look at the first one here, how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. Amen. The Bible uses three different Greek 
uh, where it says prepositions in the New Testament to describe the different ways in which the Holy Spirit works in our lives. Now, this verse shows two of these ways, and a third can be found elsewhere in Scripture. And it's going to be one through three here, friends, if you're taking notes, uh, and I hope you are, right? Amen. Having some Bible study church service today. So, let me look at this again. Number one, He works with us as non-believers. Or, as he says, para. Now, prior to our com uh, conversion to faith in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit convicts us of our sin and reveals Christ uh, the, the answer. Uh, amen. And John 16, 8 is that first scripture with that one. Uh, amen. Hold on here, friends. Boy, oh boy. That is, um, I gotta, I gotta fix that for sure. All right, we're almost at our hour on our anchor cast box, so bear with me on that one, friends. I think I'm just gonna let it roll through, uh, and, uh, I'll catch that, uh, adjustment afterwards. So, um, trying to keep myself focused. <laughs> so, anchor cast box. Always good to see you guys. I'll let that run out. Um, amen. And then um, I will adjust that and set that up afterwards. Amen. So we're counting down here. I'm going to keep reading. Um, amen. We are in the Holy Spirit works in our lives. There it is. Uh, amen. Anchor, Castbox, Pastor Rick here, hanging out on Wednesday the 22nd. See you soon. Amen. All right. So there it is, friends. We're going to keep rolling. Uh, what do we got? Oh, we got plenty of time, brothers and sisters. We're going to keep going here. Let's roll with how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. And we were just talking about, uh, the Holy Spirit here again. He comes into our lives when we turn to Christ, friends. There it is, neighbors. There you go. All right, my friends, neighbors, brothers, and sisters. Amen. Now, again, let me recap this. Let me go back over this whole thing again. Now, once we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and invite Him into our lives, the Holy Spirit comes... Oh, no, no, no. Hang on here, friends. I, I jumped too fast. Hang on. Ah, uh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so we left off with John 16, 8. In, in one. We're only in one. So I'll read this out again and then we will get to uh, two. I don't want to give away too much here. So, John 16, 8 is where that talks about the conversion to faith in Christ Jesus. Now, some might dismiss his prodding as that of one's conscience. Yet it is the Holy Spirit who opens our eyes to our terminally sinful condition, exposing our need to turn our lives over to Jesus Christ. Right? Come on now. Come on, church. Amen. Give me a minute. Let me fix and adjust this again. All right. Um, hang on here, friends. A little bit of adjustment again. All right, so let's go to number two now. There it is, number two. Uh, subtopics again, uh, how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you, the, uh, give you the title for this one. Number two, he comes into our lives when we turn to Christ. Amen, or un. Now, once we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and invite him into our lives, the Holy Spirit comes and sets up residence. So to speak, right? So to speak here. Amen. Now, first, he starts the process of salvation in our hearts, uh, in our heart, right? Now, Jesus said, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of the Spirit, John 3, 5. Second, 
He assures us that we have done the right thing. Scripture says, for his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are, friends, God's children. Romans 8.16 now we could begin uh, he could begin changing us from the inside out and develop the nature or the new nature within us right there number three he will come upon us to empower us as believers epi is the greek word for that now, Jesus describes the dynamic empowering of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Luke 24, 49. And when he said, And now I will send the Holy Spirit, just as my Father promised. And this is what the early Christians experienced in Acts chapter 2. And it dramatically emboldened their witness for Jesus Christ. The power is available to believers today and scripture says of the giving of a spirit the promises to you and to your children seed and seed right now let's see and even to the gentiles the non-jews right now all who have been called by the lord our god asked Two, thirty-nine. Amen. So there you go. Now let's take a look. John 14. And then we'll actually, uh, before I even do that, uh, let me find out where the other one is. I think I kind of went backwards on this. So let me, we're going to kind of recap and go backwards just a little bit. Live as a disciple is the subtopic for this one. Before we get into the scripture, uh, this one is, a disciple abides in Christ. And this one actually is in John 15. So, um, it's kind of printed backwards. It would be John 14 and then John 15. So, I'm going to go back and kind of recap this just a little bit here. Uh, again, with the bombardment of the flies. Uh, keeping them at bay today. Amen. Check messages. All right, all clear. All clear today, for now, anyway. It gets busy and hectic here. All right, the disciple abides in Christ. And then again, we're going to go look at John 14 and 15, uh, family. Now, Jesus knows that his true followers desire to live productive fulfilling joy-filled lives in this passage he lays out four predominant characteristics of a growing disciple number one a disciple stays close to the master and jesus encourages us to uh, remain in him in verse four and five on that one another way to translate this is to abide in him now, the word abide signifies a permanent position. And it means that you, not ye, you let your roots grow deep into your relationship with Jesus. I call that a personal relationship, friends. There it is. Allowing him to fill every part of your life every day. Now, if you maintain this unbroken fellowship with God, your lifestyle will change going to be one through five now let's see so uh, let's see that was number one a disciple stays close to the master number two a disciple a disciple is fruitful now as or just as a branch can only be fruitful when attached to the vine we can only be productive when we draw our strength from Jesus in verse 6. Uh, I believe that's 616 there. Now, the Bible describes this fruit as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 
gentleness and self-control as you look at Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23. Amen. Number three, a disciple obeys the master. Another clear sign that you are Christ's disciple is your obedience to the principles and guidelines found in the Bible, verse 10. Only then will you discover what it means to live in God, friends. Number four, a disciple loves others. Now, Jesus gave us the ultimate example of love by laying down his life for us. Now, he, in his essence, is asking us to do nothing less. That may not mean actually dying, but it may mean placing someone else's needs before our own. All right, number five in verse 11, we find Jesus' reason for sharing these principles, and he wants us to be filled uh, with joy. If you try to find happiness through the pursuits of worldly things, it will elude you. And the only way to find happiness is through the pursuit of God, church. Now, if you prioritize your life as Jesus has laid out in these verses, then your joy will overflow, family. There you go. Amen. So let's look at examples here uh, again, friends. Kind of this, like I said, it was kind of backwards, uh, the layout on this one. But uh, it is uh, John 14 and 15. Uh, so bear with me. I got another. <laughs> I'm telling you. France, it has been relentless. I have not uh, gotten too much sleep here the last couple of days uh, because of the the flies, the attacks here. And so that's why I've kind of slowed down and stopped, actually stopped the live video podcast and have gotten to the just the video or the audio part here. Um, until I get the fly strips in, like I said, it was supposed to come in. And then it never happened. Um, did not uh, did not happen. So I have resorted to audio, which is okay. You guys can still get all the podcasts and the broadcast. Amen. Is I got my water bottle in the studio, so um, that has put a damper on some of the flies. Uh, amen. I'm not fooling around. Ah, them little critters. Mercy, it is, it's like it's sprayed everywhere, but that's okay, I had to do it. Uh, <laughs> friends, amen. All right, so let's get to John 14 and 15 here, friends. I do want to read those out for you today, uh, amen, for sure. All right, let me go ahead and take a quick break. Let me go ahead and just throw um, our channel up here. Um, amen. Uh, and that is not a lot. Like I said, I'm I'm just I was gonna do it, but um, I just want to uh, throw a couple of this stuff out here. Um, man. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna do too much on this. Like I said, just a uh, couple of quick ones. I'm kind of just change my mind here. I wanted to take care of this real quick here. Uh, man. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing well. You know, I'm always praying for you. Like I said, every podcast, I pray for you. Prayer lines are always available, always open uh, to uh, prayer, uh, friends. So feel free to email me, message me. Um, amen. All right. And, uh, well, you guys know the email address for, uh, let's see, what did I do here? Um, man, all right. So, yeah, um, I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> let's see, uh, email me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor here, hanging out at yahoo.com. That is the official, um, the official uh, email. So, there you go. Amen. 
All right. Almost got it. Not too much. Like I said, just doing a quick, quick update here on our Anchor Cast Box because I do want to get that out. Uh, it kind of takes up the, uh, oh, what do you call it? It takes up our our channel here, our the tablet. I'm not able to, to get access to anything because it um, it clogs it up or blocks it up. So, oops, let's see. All right, so there it is. I do, like I said, I do want to get that out so you guys can hear that episode live on our Anchor Cast Box, Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and more, friends. All right, well, we're going to keep going. We're going to read John 14 and 15 here, friends. We'll probably uh, probably go to two hours. Again, I think we've got uh, a little over 20 uh, five minutes on Blog Talk Radio, but we're going to keep uh, keep everything rolling here. Um, amen. Yeah, I think I set it up. It, it actually runs about an hour and 45 minutes, but, um, you know, I roll over sometimes up to two hours. Uh, I told you I can do some preaching, friends. Uh, and I do, like I said, I always appreciate you guys so much. It's just such a blessing. Uh, to be called on this mission. Amen. All right. Again, Wednesday, September 22nd here, friends. You are live on the air, broadcasting on Spreaker and Blog Talk Radio, iHeart Radio, iTunes, Spotify, Anchor Cast Box. We just got finished up with that. Um, amen. All right. And there it is. Amen. All right. I'm grabbing some coffee, fresh, uh, fresh brewed off the grill. That's always awesome. All right, friends. So let's go ahead and uh, look at John 14 and 15 for this one. Amen. Now let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now in me, or in, my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have not, or I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Amen. And receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may also. Uh, be also and whither I go ye know and the way ye know and Thomas saith unto him Lord we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way and Jesus saith unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me right Amen. but by me. Amen. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Give me a minute here on this one. Uh, my train wreck of notes here. For sure. It does. Okay. Give me a minute. Oh, man. All right, friends. Give me a minute on this one. I have to kind of repatch stuff together here. All right, as he says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man uh, cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from hence uh, should ye know him, right? Or should ye know the way? And have seen him. There it is. Now Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us, or sufficeth us. Right? It sufficeth us. Amen. Now Jesus saith unto him, I have been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? But 
he that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, shew us the Father? Right? Come on now, church. We have all, you know, we know people that have said this. Well, where's the Father? Shew us the proof, you know, or show us the proof. Well, come on now, friends. God is alive. Amen. Amen. Right? He is, uh, whew, he's awesome. Just awesome. All right. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Uh, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou? Then shew us the Father. Believest thou not, as he says, believest thou not, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you speak not of myself, but the word or the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. And believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. And verily, verily, I say unto you, friends, he, uh, see, believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and whosoever ye shall, or whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, there will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son, if ye shall ask, or if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And if ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Amen, right? Amen. And let's see, that he may abide with you forever. There it is. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and he in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. And Judas asked unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest uh, thyself unto us and not unto the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and he or we will come unto him and make our abode with him. And he that loveth me not keepeth my sayings, and the words which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, be, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave you, or leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, brothers and sisters, and neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And uh, now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, ye might believe. 
Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Again, we're talking about the devil here, friends. We know that uh, the devil uh, is, uh, you know, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and uh, he uh, he's time is short. His time is short, friends, and he's uh, on the on the path, right? So, the devil or have the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me, but that the world or world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Uh, arise, let us go hence. All right, friends. So, like I said, we're going to roll right into chapter 15 here. Uh, amen. Let me go ahead and roll with my uh, my updates here real quick. Taking a look at what is going on. Amen. All right, my friends. There it is. There it is. Blog Talk Radio. How are you guys doing? Amen. And Spreaker. Amen. All right, so it's live. I've got it. Uh, so check the links, friends. It is up and running. You guys can catch that. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and get the volume. Check the volume, of course. Our monitors set right in there. Amen. All right. So live right now, Block Talk Radio and Spreaker, friends. Amen. There it is. I'm listening to it on the live feedback. How awesome is that? Boy, what a blessing that is, my friends. It is such uh, awesome. Now, let me, real quick here, let me set up my monitor uh, so that I can uh, go ahead and listen to that. I got new Apple uh, Apple earplugs or earbuds, I guess you call them. Uh, amen. All right. And that way I can go ahead and monitor uh, the volume here. So, again, bear with me. Let me uh, go ahead and set up our set up our monitors here. Amen. All right. <laughs> Hold on, your friends. Not too loud. Want to get that out. Okay. Very good. All right. So there it is. Got the monitor rolling here. I wanted to kind of just double check every once in a while here how uh, the volume level is. So you guys can certainly find this live right now. Uh, amen. All right, such a blessing to have uh, the equipment here. It is awesome. All right, well, we're going to continue. Uh, friends, give me a minute. So the volume does sound pretty good. I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm pretty uh, appreciative of having the Apple uh, products there. Uh, the tablet and the uh, Channel 1 there, the Mac Pro there. Uh, it helps the... Uh, volume level, the you know the audio and everything, it helps uh, quite a bit on the podcast. Uh, quite the improvement, uh, uh, amen. So I am uh, I am looking at jumping up to another one for uh, our channel four. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to switch one out. I'm going to switch uh, channel three with another Mac and uh, have them both for broadcasting. So. Always looking to improve uh, the podcast here, friends. I want to give you the best uh, sound quality, the best uh, audio quality, quality, and the best video quality. So, well, let's keep rolling. We got chapter 15 in the book of John, my friends. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going with that. Amen. All right. For a says, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not the fruit, he taketh away. 
And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth much fruit. Right? Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And this is, again, friends, this is in John chapter 15. I kind of jumped uh, scripture there. Hmm. All right. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. That, uh, let's see, he that abideth in me, and I in him, as he says, the same bringeth much fruit. But without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so he uh, ye loved you. Here he loved you, right? Now, continue ye in my love. And he, uh, see, if, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Right? Amen. All right. Boy, those flies are out in drones, or droves, right? Droves, that's what you call it. Um, not good. All right, bear with me on this one, friends, again. <laughs> Amen. Well, hopefully soon I'll get the fly strips in because I do want to go live back again on the video part. But, uh, friends, you know, the battle, it's just not possible. Um, too much, uh, really, uh, too much interference and, and just too much um, distraction. Uh, so... Um, that's the, it was just wasn't good so uh, yeah so bear with me on that friends will be doing the and these times will change uh, my friends the, the time that I do the broadcast during the daytime is uh, it will change it will be varied um, I'm just uh, like I said I have kind of got to play it by ear uh, see what we got going on how much interference from the other uh, the other minister uh, and uh, his, uh, you know, his help that he's got, um, and the noise that he makes. You know, it's impossible to try to uh, podcast when I have uh, a lot of noise going on and distractions and, you know, and, and just kind of, you know, uh, as, you know, like I said, I'm not going to go into details on it, friends, but uh, I've been dealing with a Leviathan Jezebel angry spirit in the other minister and it has been uh, very distracting um, and uh, pretty tough to really, really do anything uh, here in the studio. And like I said, I'm not going to give it too much uh, time and uh, talk too much about it. But it has, you know, I appreciate you guys' prayer um, on this that it gets taken care of. But it has been uh, kind of an internal battle here in the studios. Uh, trying to, uh, you know, get the broadcast that I have been uh, called to do. And when I have uh, have to deal with a know-it-all spirit, a Jezebel spirit, and a Leviathan spirit, uh, and uh, the constant barrage of interference, noise, distraction, anger, strife, again, it's, it's in the Bible, and, um, you know, that's just been a constant uh, badgering uh, of that minister. So, 
Um, I have to be very careful when I podcast, when I have a chance to get in here and into the studio, uh, that uh, my heart's not in anger and resentment uh, as I am taking the higher road on this, and I will not stoop to that lower level of that minister. So uh, keep praying for me, friends. I, you know, I do appreciate your support. Do appreciate your continued um, prayers on this situation. Uh, as you guys know, I don't talk about it too much, but it has been an issue. It has been interference, jealousy, um, envy, strife, railings. It's just like I said in the last scripture, uh, this minister has full bore Jezebel, Leviathan spirit, anger, resentment, um, friends, and it has been a constant fight, a constant battle um, over uh, over this. So I have just been praying on it, giving it over to God, continued just to stay steadfast in this uh, broadcast. You know, I close up the door and do my broadcast for the Lord. You know, it's not about me. It's about God and giving back to Him. So, um, you know, as I... Pray for our enemies, right? We got to pray for our enemies, and, and just hopefully they let that go, uh, friends. So again, you know how I like to rabble, and of course I'm always transparent with you guys, um, and uh, continue to do that, and of course continue to kind of uh, you know share a little personal, uh, not too much. This isn't about me. This is about God. So thanks for letting me ramble a little bit. But as I was just looking at that scripture, that kind of popped up again, and I wanted to address that. That's why, and I'm getting the emails, uh, friends, again, that's why I wanted to address this, uh, because there I haven't been able to get, be consistent on the podcast. It's kind of sporadic when I uh, get an opportunity to go live, so sometimes late night, sometimes early morning, I never know, right? All right, so let me get back to my notes here. Uh, amen. So, but I am going to be on, friends. You know, like I said, I am, uh, I am still on, and I will be going on. I'm not going to let anything sidetrack me or distract me on that. So, uh, again, thank you guys for your patience and your understanding here. You know, it's. It's been something, you know, it's, but again, you know, I, I look at what uh, Jesus and the disciples had to go through, and man, oh man, they, they boy, oh boy, they, they, they put up with a lot of stuff, uh, friends, so that gives me the energy, that gives me the inspiration uh, to continue, uh, continue with this mission that, that God has called me to. So, thank you guys again so much. I do appreciate that. All right, so we're in John chapter 15 on this one. And uh, I want to go ahead and continue here. I think we were at about... Um, uh, where were we at? I think we were at about uh, John chapter 7. Or uh, what was it? 15 and verse uh, about 7 or 8 here. Let's go to verse 8. Now herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. See right there, that verse right there affirmed it, uh, friends. So uh, we are his disciples and we got to keep moving, keep going forward. So there you go. All right. As the Father hath loved uh, me, so uh, hath he loved you. Continue ye in my love. Ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in His love. Agape love. Now, these things have I spoken unto you, that my joy 
might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another. I have loved you, or as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Amen. And ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant, and that is your key and your main scripture right there. Henceforth, in verse 15, I call you not servants. The servants knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of your Father in my name, he may give it to you, or give it you, right? Now, these things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world, and here it is again, friends, this is what I, I, I enter it every time, if the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Right? Amen. As he says, be ye separate. Be ye separate, friends. All right. Okay. Be ye separate. And remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying they will keep yours as well. All right. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. They don't know the Lord. They know of him, but they don't have any kind of uh, relationship with our Lord and Savior. That's why we got to keep praying for him, friends, for sure. All right. Okay, give me a minute. I'm still here, friends. I didn't go to sleep. I haven't fallen asleep yet. I'm still here preaching uh, the good word here. So bear with me. Just taking care of a couple of, couple of quick notes here. Amen. All right. So, yeah, we just got a few left here. Let's go ahead and finish that out, friends. Now, in verse 21, But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin, uh, or nor cover, friends. So they know the truth that they cannot run from it or hide from it. Now he that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, uh, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated it, both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that it is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. He also shall appear, or bear witness, because, as he says, 
uh, you have seen or been with me from the beginning. And there we go. That was uh, John 15, 14 and uh, 15 church. So there you go on that one. Boy, awesome studies. I always love uh, sharing uh, this precious word of God, friends. I, I do. I know this is... Uh, I know they're a little long. Like I said, I know they're they're kind of long sometimes. I you know just gotta bear with me on that, um, and um, you know be patient, uh, friends. If I as I read the word here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and grab a couple of quick notes here as I do. Amen. John fourteen fifteen. I uh, disciple abides in Christ and pray the Holy Spirit works or how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. Amen. And pray effectively. We went into that as well. Our first opening scripture that was in Acts chapter 12 at about uh, what was it? 12, 1 through 17. All right, my friends. I think I want to close out with just a couple more. Probably like I said, I'm not sure uh, my brothers and sisters, how, uh, you know, how I never know how these are going to be, uh, friends. And I'm hoping to get rid of the fly so that I can go ahead and, and go on, uh, go on our live video portion of the podcast. I always love doing that. It is a great, uh, great, uh, opportunity to, you know, just go on and, and do these podcasts on the video, on the live video. So, but uh, that's why we have the option. Um, amen. All right. Well, let's go ahead and I'm gonna. I think I want to do uh, Revelation, uh, friends. Revelation chapter nine. Um, I do. I think I think I do want to go into that again, uh, just because uh, we have been doing a series of revelations uh, in the book of Revelation, of course. So, one, I think I'll want to go, um, so let's go find that, friends, Revelation chapter 9, uh, again, kind of, uh, you know, continuing our series on Revelations, of course, if I can get to that without tearing up my Bible here, amen, all right, 9 through 21, right, okay, all right, there it is. So nine, one through twenty-one. All right, I do want to go to that. All right, there it is. Talk about that now. The the mark of the beast there. Um, okay, hang on here. Okay, hang on here, friends. Getting the pages together. I want to make sure that I have all that written out as we continue. And like I said, it's close to two hours here for sure, friends. I definitely uh, want to go ahead and, and get all that together here. Um, amen. So, Revelation 9, 1 through 21, friends. I think I want to do that. Uh, amen. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this, friends. 9, Revelation 9, 1 through 21 here. Friends, now don't forget, I'm on Discord uh, as well as the other channels I mentioned to you before. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, Discord, Patreon, uh, Tin Can, Twitter, and a whole lot more. God, his... Definitely been good, friends, to the ministry. And I always thank him for that increase as the channels continue, uh, the upgrades continue, uh, friends. And uh, again, thank you guys for your support. Don't forget that PayPal link is up on that YouTube channel, uh, family, if you will. I appreciate that in advance, whatever uh, God lays on, on your heart for tithing, uh, friends, to the ministry channel. If it is helping your walk with Jesus, friends. Amen. Okay, now I think we 
kind of did a little bit of updating on this one. This looked uh, pretty bad. Um, and, uh, so, nine, friends. Let's look at chapter nine in the book of uh, Revelations. And we're talking about the angels here. Now, the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him that given the or was given the key of the bottomless pits. And he opened the bottomless pit, and then arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke, as it says, the smoke of a great furnace, friends, is a great uh, furnace. There it is. Give me a couple of seconds here, uh, friends, as I again uh, try to take care of a little bit of the notes here. Okay, so, uh, there arose a smoke out of the pit as smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke out of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts, or plagues, upon the earth. And unto them that was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power, and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have, as he says, have ye not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them that was given that, that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And their heads were as they were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had their hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle, friends. They were running to battle. All right, verse 10, Revelation 9. And they had tails like a scorpions, and they were stings, or there were stings in their tail, or tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, or Abaddon. Right there, Revelation uh, 11, friends, 9 and 11. Ironically, if you look at where that says that, at that page number, uh, as it says, uh, chapter 9 and verse 11, the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, and in the Greek tongue, with his name, Apollyon, or Apollyon. If you guys uh, researched that and looked that up, pretty interesting connection there, uh, right? Um, all right. So there you go, my friends. Got to be in your word, right? You got to be in your word, friends. Amen. All right, that's a whole other that's a whole other project right here. As I was looking through this, oh man, I am going to be busy. Well, I'm always busy, right? But that's okay. Like I said, I don't. I certainly don't mind. All right, friends. Hang on again. Let me try to correct this out. So let's continue. We are in uh, Revelation 9. Amen. All right. So let's go to verse 12. Now one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more after. Uh, hereafter. Now the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns, or from the uh, four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, 
saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates and the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year friends for to slay the third part of men and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision of them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of Jason and of brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of them killed or men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths all right again with the notes friends give me a minute um, very interesting um, comparisons here friends if you study revelations uh, and I had a a real opportunity uh, really to dig into the book of revelations um, you know, as I've talked about in my testimony before, uh, boy, what a what an opportunity! What a great, uh, um, you know, just to be able to read in there and study that. Uh, so let's continue here. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, right? And out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire, and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. Right? Out of their mouths. Hang on here, friends. Appreciate your patience on this one. For the power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone, and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk and neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries nor of their fornication and nor of their thefts there it is friends that is deep that's something oh you know i, I like i said i could add my commentary on it but uh you know you guys um you know, pray for discernment and understanding, of course, like I always encourage you guys to do. Um, amen. All right, my sister Rabina is online, putting stuff on, on her Twitter channel. That's awesome. Always encourage uh, brothers and sisters to uh, share this good news gospel. Amen. So there you go, Revelation 9. I know, I think that's, that's a song somewhere or something. I don't know. All right. And okay, my friends, 66 new fans over at Rizzle.com, friends. Let me see what the number is today for Wednesday the 22nd. Um, amen. I do have to do an update there. I do have to get on there. So we're over... 205,000 views on Rizzle with over 5,837 uh, followers and subscribers over there. That is such a blessing, friends. Uh, amen. That is good stuff. Okay, friends. Let's, let's see what we got on the menu all right a little over two hours i'm going to cut it off there my friends that is always good you know i told you it was an hour 
the Power Hour Plus Bible Study Podcast, friends. Um, and I, you know, like I said, I, I tend to run over, and I really don't want to do that too much. I know you guys, uh, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, um, I, and like I said, I never know. Uh, friends, I really, really don't know uh, how long to do these broadcasts. Uh, friends, I can't uh, really put a time limit on it. Uh, it's really tough sometimes. Like I said, I want to, you know, you guys know I could talk forever. Uh, and I do appreciate your patience with that one, uh, friends, for sure. Um, so, yeah, man, let me see what we got here. Because I don't, like I said, I don't want to cut you guys off. I want to make sure that you guys get enough scriptures here in between because I never know when I'm going to get back on live again. Um, amen. So, let me see where we're at uh, with this next one here. See how long it is. Uh, and my pages are stuck together here. So, we got one in Philippians Again, four, chapter 4 in the book of Philippians, friends. Maybe we'll close out with that. Let's go ahead and just do that, friends. Let's go close out with 4 in the book of Philippians on this one, friends. Uh, amen. So we will close that. Um, amen. Let me go ahead and fix this again with the problem. See? Uh, you know, as I transfer notes from one podcast to the next, um, sometimes they get a little jumbled, they get a little mixed up here. Um, amen. All right, so yeah, so let me <laughs> correct the page here. Uh, mercy, you know how that goes, friends. I always uh, kind of just jumble them up together here. So, we are in Philippians 4, and that's going to be our closeout pro, uh, broadcast chapter there. Um, and then, all right, let me go back. There it is. All right, 1780. Um, all right. Well, it's been a great podcast, friends. It has been always an awesome time spending time with you guys uh, on here September 22nd we're at the end of the month already can you believe that friends already the end of the month here man oh man where does the time go again I hope you guys are staying safe I'm praying for each and every one of you I got you on my uh, prayer list of all you know always and I uh, always appreciate your support here and again I don't know I uh, you know I don't have a set time right now right at the moment because of the fly situation in in the, in the main part of the studios I believe that's because of uh, the minister's bugs he's got pet bugs up there that he stores and that's drying all the flies <sighs> And, you know, you got to just kind of roll with it, right? Amen. Let's close out with this. Philippians chapter 4, brothers and sisters. Amen. And I do appreciate your prayers, friends. I always appreciate those prayer requests uh, from you guys coming in to the uh, ministry here. All right. Let's uh, close out. Now, therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Iodias, I beseech Sintese, or Sintese, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat also these true yoke fellows and these uh, that the help these women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other of my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again, church, I say, rejoice, amen, right, amen, rejoice in the Lord, all right, adjustment on that one, uh, <laughs> what has he said, uh, clean up in aisle four, well, he got that one, right, come on now, all right, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again, church, I say rejoice.
Amen. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, and in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Amen. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus, friends. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, and whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, and wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Now that I speak in respect of one, I have learned whatsoever state I am, therefore to be content. And know both how to be abased, and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Right? I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things, church, uh, through Christ which strengtheneth me a man. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Uh, now, we're talking about tithings here. Now, ye Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, which I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but uh, ye only. For even in Thessalonica, yet or ye sent, uh, sent once again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account, friends. But I have all, and abound I am full, having received of Ephroditus the things which are sent from you an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Amen. But my God, friends, shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Uh, church, we say amen, right? Come on now, amen. I uh, salute every saint in Christ Jesus, the brethren which are with me. Greet you. All the saints salute you chiefly, they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, my friends. Get that church on its feet. Amen. Church, amen. What is the Bible study we have today? Wednesday, September 22nd, Pastor Rick here, Studio A. Uh, started about 5, so like I said, it was going to be about 2 hours again. The Power Hour Plus. I always like to uh, do these Power Hour, uh, like, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm bringing them back. Uh, because I got a fly problem uh, because of the other minister's uh, bugs collection. That's in the, <laughs> in the lobby of the studio. Uh, I got to get a uh, cover or something for them or something to spray them down or do something with them. Uh, they are a, uh, an issue. So, anyway, my friends, that's why I'm, you know, hey, there's a way. I could still podcast uh, any, uh, you know, I, I have this uh, all the uh, opportunities to use the tablets, the devices. God had said, there's no excuse. You got to get out there. You got to preach the good news gospel, and you got to share this precious word. Uh, friends, amen and amen. Okay, friends. Okay, okay. That's it for me. Uh, it's been a good one, my brothers and sisters. I'm always glad to be here. And always glad to share this precious word of God. Like I said, friends, uh, always good to be here. So we are on uh, Spreaker Anchor Cast Box and Blog Talk Radio. 
Now I'm going to post these out, friends. You guys can get these on all your podcast devices for sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, as I am chasing a fly with my my I got my bottle here, my spray bottle. There's no running and no hiding for them. All right, friends, that's it. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Take care. And, uh, again, always appreciate your support. It is such a blessing, brothers and sisters. Amen and amen. Pastor Rick here, hanging out, Studio A, broadcasting on September 22nd. Audio broadcast here, friends. See you soon and amen. There's our church. Let me close out our our Blog Talk radio channel. Uh, friends, I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Take care and see you soon. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Springer. Uh, you know, we got that little last minute uh, closeout stuff we got to do on our uh, Blog Talk radio channel. Amen. What a great channel. I am so blessed to have these channels available, friends. It is amazing. Uh, always a blessing. So don't forget, uh, podcasts are going to be postponed tomorrow. Uh, I have a conference with Verbal, uh, the ambassador program. And that is going to be awesome. So check it out, Verbal.com. Uh, V-U-R-B-L.com, my friends. Um, the podcast, I'll download this episode and uh, be able to you know, get that on there too as well. Uh, hey man. All right, friends. Well, as I'm just doing a, a little bit of maneuvering here uh, to the channel, I want to make sure I upload that broadcast here Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, hey man. All right, so that's going through. All right, friends. That's it for me. Have a good one. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Take care. Pastor Rick here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast and uh, September 22nd, Wednesday. See you soon, friends. A little after 7.20 here. Uh, talk to you soon, brothers and sisters. See ya. Bye.